What is up, my motherfuckers? Robert J here, your favorite friend neighborhood jackass. I'm back with a couple of short stories for all of you motherfuckers. I'm sorry that it's been a while, but you know, yeah, I also work and I got a new job. I can't do this YouTube stuff full time like, you know, all the other people does. But yeah, I'm back with short stories for all y'all and more. So let's get started. Have you ever had any of those times where you're in a situation where you're, you want to tell someone how, how you really feel about this situation, but instead you do the opposite and tell them how you think they, how, how you think they want you to feel about the situation and what they and what you think they they want to hear about the situation? You ever have any of those times? I'm about to tell I'm about to tell I'm about to tell you all about the times I had like that. All right, let's go. When I was younger, I used to get the most ass whoopings out of all my brothers and sisters. Like, my mom used to tear my ass up, y'all. My mom used to whoop my motherfucking ass. Like, I can't even, I can't even sit here and explain to you how, how much she used to whoop my ass. But in her defense, I was the baddest one. <laughs> I, I, was, I was a badass little kid. Like, there was not one thing I did not do. But then on the, on the other note, whatever my mom could pick up, she whooped my ass with. <laughs> But when I turned 18, when I, when I was able to buy cigarettes and stuff, she started wanting me to go down to the gas station and, and get her cigarettes. I would tell her, I would, I would tell her what she want, wanted to hear and I, and I would go, get, go and get her cigarettes. I went and got her cigarettes. I did. And I, w I walked all the way down to the store, the gas station, and I, and I got her cigarettes. Walked all the way back and I gave them to her with, with nothing said. She would say thank you. I was just to sit there and look at it for a minute. Because in reality, the only thing that's going through my mind is... Listen here, lady. Listen here. 18 years. 18 motherfucking years. 18 motherfucking years of big, bad, motherfucking ass whoopings. And you want me to go to the motherfucking gas station and get you motherfucking cigarettes now? What the hell is wrong with you? No. Hell no! Go do it yourself. Go do it yourself. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't do it. I ain't gonna do it for you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna do it. No. If I'm up doing stuff around the house, like cooking, cleaning, doing doing something with the dog, or doing something with the kids. And then when I finally feel like sitting down, when I finally need to sit down, I sit down next to Amber. She she looks at me. She's like, "Babe, can you go get me a drink? Can you go get me something to eat? Can, can you?" She she wants something. She always wants something when, when I gotta sit down. Well, when it, when it's time for me to sit to sit down and, and take a little break, she always wants something. And I I I, I don't, I'm, I'm mean about it. I, I I just look at her. I say, "Yeah, I, I can do that. Sure, no problem." But in reality, in reality, I, I, I really want to speak up and say- What the fuck? What? You see me walk up walking around that whole time? That whole time you in here sitting watching TV playing on your phone and you can't tell me then? What? What? Do it yourself. Get up and just do it yourself. I'm not doing it no more. No, I want to sit down, take a break, and just relax for a little bit. I just did all of that. I just did all this house stuff, and now you want me to get up and, and make you something to eat and get something, get you something to drink, and what else? No. No. Bitch, what the fuck this look like? No. I was in CVS the other day picking a couple things up. When I went to go get in line at the cash register, an older lady got in line behind me. All she had in her shopping cart was just one... One, one alcohol bottle. That's it. Just one alcohol bottle. She asked me if she can cut me in line. I said, yeah, go, go right ahead. It's no big deal. Go, go right ahead. But in reality, I wanted to look dead at her. Are you serious right now, woman? Are you? You got you got to be kidding me, right? You got all you guys one alcohol bottle. You kidding me? You got all you guys one alcohol bottle. I got a handful of stuff and you want to cut me in line right now? Are you kidding me? All you want to do is go home and drink. All you want to do is go home and drink with your old ass. Get out of line. 
Matter of fact, go all the way to the back of the line. Go all the way to the back of the line. I don't want you next to me no more. All you guys want that call ball and you trying to cut? No. No. Up here smell like mothballs, coffee, and, and fucking Ben Gay. Get your ass to the back of the line. Get back to... Get back. Go. Stop trying to cut. Don't cut me. Don't try to cut me no more. No. The answer is no, you cannot cut me in line. No, bitch. No. No. All you guys want alcohol, but I got a handful of shit that I'm about to drop if I don't get up to this restaurant and get the fuck out of this. So, I need to go. So the answer is no. No, you cannot cut me in line. No. What the hell is wrong with you? You don't see the situation that you were trying to cause right now? I am about to drop all this stuff. No. Leave me alone and get out of my face, you old woman. Get. Some was at work, and I was pulling, I pulled all 10 of my mats in. They, I, I pull them in in these big old cages. They're kind of heavy. They're like, they're like really heavy. But when I got all 10 of them pulled in, Debbie yelled for me. My boss down there, one of my bosses down there, she yelled for me. And she, she asked me to pull... Uh, it was either sheets or table in and that was out there sitting where my mats was sitting. I pull them in and then I go and find her and I asked her like is this what you is this what you was talking about? Is this what you needed? She said no. That, that's that's wrong. That, that's that's the stain treated stuff. I don't need that. Uh, w w uh, will you please take it back out there? I said yeah I'll take it back out. She said do you need help? I said no I don't need any help. But in reality in reality, I want... Really? You gotta ask? You really gotta ask? Well, since you gotta ask, no, I do not need your help. No, I don't. But next time, next time, be pacific on what you want. Be pacific. Because there's all kind of cans out there sitting, Debbie. There's all kind of cans out there sitting. Now, I just had to pull both of these cans back in for you, and you don't, and this ain't even what you want. Mind you, Dodger pulled 10 cans of mats in. Ten. Ten. So next time, be Pacific. Be Pacific. I should make you pull them out there by yourself. Watch it. Watch yourself. Always oh, summer yelling my name like, Butler! What if I go around yelling your name? Salmon! Salmon! Be Pacific next time.